שלום יש ואללה, שלום. ברכתי יאווה, ברכתי יאווה שי. ברכתי יאווה, ברכתי יאווה שי. ברכתי יאווה, ברכתי יאווה שי. בהשם רכה קודש. דבלנרס, דה אפוסטלס, ואלדרס, ארבעת מילסטון, ותיצ'ו ומובה, ותאמי דה שוט אינס אינטרטי, קורדין דה בייבל. פייס וסליוטיישן, דה אקיום. The fellow laborers, the hopeful elect, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. It's your brother Shema, from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, the title of this lesson, No Continuing City, right? And it's, uh, yeah, No Continuing City. And it's uh, based on this article that came out on Financial Times. It also came out on uh, Bloomberg. But uh, the pop-ups are uh, crazy over here on Bloomberg. So we'll, we'll, we'll read it over here on uh, Financial Advisor. But the title, and this came out June 11th, so-called June 11th, 2021, the year, the year of looking for and hastening the, com the coming of our Lord. And the title here, so-called white. And so-called black workers are retiring early for different reasons, right? And uh, when we get into this article, you see it's, it's plain and simple, you know? It's the, it's the curses, right? But we'll read it, and Lord willing, we'll attach some scriptures. Many so-called white Americans, right? And they're not white, they're red, right? Pink, right? Edomites, Idumia. Right, are retiring earlier than planned because they can afford to. But for so-called black Americans, health problems or disabilities are more likely to force them to stop working prematurely. That's one of the findings of a survey released Thursday that focused on challenges facing so-called blacks, right? And that's the, that's the, the, the Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you Israelites, right? Israel being a people before a place. And Hispanic, right? That's the Northern Kingdom, right? So-called indigenous, so-called Latino, right? Challenges facing so-called black and so-called Hispanic Americans when saving and preparing for retirement. The January survey found that so-called black Americans and so-called Hispanic Americans were more likely than so-called white Americans to stay to say they'd retired earlier than anticipated. Some 53% of so-called black Americans and so-called Hispanic Americans retirees said they retire earlier than planned, compared with 46% 40 for you Edomites, right? Edomite retirees. The top, the, 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 the top reason for retiring earlier than planned for Edomites, cited by 44%, was because they could afford it, right? They got that clout, they got that bag, they got that money, right? According to the survey by the Employee Benefit Research Institute and Greenwald Research, some 32% of some 32 of, the Edo, of, of, of Edomites said it was because of a health problem or disability unrelated to the waters. The top reason cited for, cited by you Israelites, at 40%, at 40 was a health problem or a disability, and 20, 28% said they retired early because they could afford it. Among you northern tribes, right, retirees, 40% said they retired earlier than planned due to a health issue or disability, and 39% said it was because they could afford it. One big obstacle to any kind of savings is debt. More than half of the northern and southern kingdom households with at least $75,000 in annual income said debt said debt was a problem. According to a survey, according to the survey for the for you Edomites in the same income group, only 37% cited debt 
as an impediment, right? I'm not going to read on. Matter of fact, it's a, oh, okay, yeah, I'll finish up. I thought it was longer for some strange reason. Nearly half of the southern and northern kingdom households in that income group said they strongly or somewhat agree that it's more important to help friends and family now than save for their own retirement. But their percentage fell to 33% for, for you Edomites. The financial impact of the pandemic came through in the survey results, while 14% of so-called white Americans who were still working said that they had pushed out their retirement date since January 1st, 2020. 21% of employed so-called black Americans and 25% of, of employed so-called Hispanic Americans, American workers said they'd done the same. Among black, um, among so-called black Americans with household incomes of less than 35 grand, 58% said they had savings of less than $1,000, not including their primary home or any defined benefit plan. 38% of so-called white people at the same income level said that, said the same thing, right? So 58% of, 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 of you, 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 Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, you have less than a grand in your, $1,000 in your savings, right? 38% of, uh, of you Edomites said the same thing. Over 70% of people expect to work for pay during their retirement, but just 30% of those who are already retired said they actually worked in a paying job while retired. That could mean that finances for retirees are tighter than they had expected. A majority across all groups agree with this statement. Preparing for retirement makes you feel stressed. Right. We get into some scriptures, man. Right. And this is just the curses, man. There's, there's no continuing city here. Right. This is America the Great. Babylon the Great. Right. Right, the only the only place, Israel, Israelites, you you so called Latino, you so called Negro, you so called Indigenous, will be at rest is in the kingdom, Micah two verse ten, right? And the only way for the kingdom to come back is when Yahweh Shai comes back, to judge, and make war. Micah two verse ten, and it reads, "Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest." Right, you Israelites, you, you so called Indigenous, you so called Latino, you so called Negro. Right, this is not your rest. America the Great, Babylon the Great, the American dream, so to speak, it's not your rest. You have to depart, depart how? Spiritually, man. Get in tune with your higher power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Start obeying the law, statutes, and commandments. Detach from this world, this carnal, this physical world. Right? Because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. Right. Babylon the Great will grind you, grind you to the bone, man, will kill you off. Right? Right? Th this survey was done with, with, with retirement aged so called so called Americans, man. Right? Some of them have to continue to work to make ends meet. Hebrews 13, verse 14. Right? We seek the kingdom. For here, and it reads, Hebrews 13, verse 14. For here we have no continuing city, but we but we seek one to come. Right. There's no continuing city here in America the Great, Babylon the Great. Right? It's a it's a system, it's a society built on usury, built built, built on uh, subject to payments, built on built on slavery. Right? Proverbs twenty two verse seven and it reads The rich and who are the rich? Esau, Edom, these, these banking families, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the DuPonts, right? The rich ruleth over the poor, right? And who's the poor? You Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. And the borrower is servant to the lender, right? And who's the borrower? You Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. We are serve we are yet in our captivity. We are servants to the lender. Who's the lender? Esau Edom, Idumia, the ruling class elites, the banking families. Right? And this is all this is all a part of the curses, man. Right? And and, and average Jake out here don't know. They don't know. Right? Deuteronomy twenty eight verse fifteen. 
and it reads, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, right? And this is to the Israelites, Israel being a people for a place, when they're delivered out of Egypt, right? Under Moses, right? To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee, right? So if we didn't hearken to the, the voice of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, right? These are the curses that will fall upon us. Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 on down. Right? But the ones I want, the one I wanted to point out, Deuteronomy 28, verse 44, and it reads, He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Right. And what does this pertain to? Right? The rule who, who's in rulership right now? The earth is given over into the hand of the wicked. Right? Job 9 and 24. Right? And who is the wicked? Esau, Edom, Idumia, the so-called white man, Babylon the Great, America the Great. The banking families, the ruling class elites, they, 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 the, the earth is given into their hand. They're in rulership. So, so they lend to, they lend to us, Israel being a people before a place. They, that they're the head, right? Esau, Edom, the wicked, and we're the tail. Deuteronomy 28 verse. 48 and it reads therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies which Yahweh thy power shall send against thee right and the most high Yahweh sent our enemies against us and who are our enemies beginning with Esau Edom but it's all these other nations Moab Amalek Ammonites Ishmaelites right but begin primarily Esau Edom the most high sent them against us right we're in servitude to them right in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Right? We traded in our yoke, our physical yoke of iron for these documents that we possess. Passports, driver's license, D, uh, 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 mortgages, insurance. It's all slavery. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Right? And that and that and that, that that's the ultimate goal of Esau Edom, to destroy to, to destroy the Israelites, Israel being a people before a place, right? And one of his ways is by, is, is by his money system, right? We'll close out Baruch three. Just feed the sheep, edify, you know. Baruch chapter three, verse eight. We'll close out with this one. Behold, meaning look, we are yet this day in our captivity. Right, us Israelites, Israel being a people for a place. We're in our captivity, man. That ain't nothing changed. It's just not it's just not physical yokes of iron, man. Right? It's documents and paperwork. Where thou hast scattered us, who scattered us? Yahweh Bashim Yahushai scattered us throughout the four corners of the earth, man. Why? For a reproach and a curse. And to be subject, right, to be in servitude. And to be subject to payments, right? Payments, this money system. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, right? The sin upon sin, all the iniquities our forefathers committed, right? By going off, going after false gods, sacrificing the idols, right? According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh, our power. I pray you edified. I don't want Ratiza, stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. You know? Kwamya Shavala, Wa Abad Babal.